Hello everyone, Griffin here. So today we're gonna do something different. I'm gonna show you what I do to plan my farming and by farming I mean the objects, fragments, etc. So since I started playing in September 2015, I started doing this spreadsheet. I did it in numbers because I have a Mac, but I can share it with you in Excel, no problem. Link to the Google Drive will be in the description. So what I did with this little spreadsheet is have all the objects. In column A, you will have all the kind of equipment that the heroes can have. As you can see, they are color-coded. If it's purple or higher, they are color-coded. All of them, all of them. Including up to the level 110 items. And also most of the legendary items. There are a few legendary items that are not here uh, because I don't have them. And since I didn't need them, I didn't add them. That's what you have in column A. In column B, you are supposed to write how many of each item you need. In column C, it says have. How many of the items here do you have? Now, you see that some of them have black squares. Why? Because there are some of these items that are also materials to craft some of the other items. Let me see an example. Demon Edge. You know that the Demon Edge is necessary to craft all orange shows. And since it's a material, it's in black here. And here, here we go the number of Demon Edges you have. But I'm getting ahead of myself. So as I said, in half you're supposed to write how many of these do you have. On farm will be the difference between the two. How many do you have? Comparing to how many do you need. Of course, I did a did a little something so that it doesn't show any, neg any negative numbers. So, if you have enough, it will have zero. Right now, it is empty. Now, here in column F, is all the items that are materials to craft another item. And the need part is directly linked to column D. So for example, let's say if I write here that I need a mark of Corvus, for example, which is here. Let me put that I need one. So this thing is going to tell me that for mark of Corvus, I need one, right? And since here I have that I don't have any mark of Corvus, that I have zero, and when I record, so this is frag fragments, so this will tell me, okay, you need to farm five fragments for this thing. Now, let's do something else. For example, the all around shoes, here it is. Let's say I need one all around shoes. So, this thing will tell me, let's go to the farm that has color. Okay, all these things. So, this is telling me that we need one shoes, because we need the blue shoes to craft the all orange shoes, that we need 20 fragments of ice stuff, which is one stuff, 
20 fragments of Hungarian glaive and 20 fragments of Demon Edge, right? And of course, this is telling me that you need the reel for the blue boots. Okay. So, so far, I think it's kind of clear how this is working, right? Very well. Let me take this. Now, as I said, column F has all the items. There are materials for any other items, including the rare items. Like, for example, the Ruined Heart and Lucky Jade are materials for some of the 109 and 1010 items. The Lucky Jade, for example, is a material for the Holy Grail. And it's taken into account here. And Lucky Jade is also here. Be and because this is a material, that's what is black here. Let's say I put one Lucky Jade here. It will still tell me that I need that one Lucky Jade. Okay? Now, as you see in some of these, if the item that is in column F it's an item that can be directly craft. You will have here the amount of fragments. It's already written. Okay? But, but if it's not an item that can be directly craft, then this part will be black. And this column, this column will be blue instead of green. Being blue means that these items need to be crafted from another item. Which in this case, for example, which we need one ring of a spectre, which is 60 fragments for the Lucky J. We need one air helm, which is 60 fragments. We need one demon garment, which is 50 fragments. Okay? And we need one holy seed, that is another 50 fragments. So, this, this, this spreadsheet directly takes into account all of that. So, all you need to do in order to know one I what items you need to find is to write down in column B how many do you need. And of course, you have to fill out column C which is how many of these items that are not in black do you have? Column H, how many of these items do you have? By the way, if you are high level, you probably don't care about the blue ones. Therefore, all, the, uh, all of these that are not in color, you can skip. And if you have a lot of, I don't know, pipe reels or some other thing, you can just put, I don't know, like 200 here and 200 and all of this just like that if you already have more than enough and therefore don't worry about them for example I don't need bloody ice anymore I I take the ice stuff, Hungarian Glades, Demon Edges uh, I have all of this more than I need I can write wizard hats, have more than enough crystal balls. I I keep track of silver lances. I have like 150 eternal icicles or something like that. What else I keep? Ah, yeah, I keep track of emerald pendants and holy garment because you need them. I have enough sapphire stuffs, etc., etc. So you can just write down a big number there forget about it and just focus in the in how many items you need from the others from the important and as I said column I has how many fragments you need to craft on a specific item and as you may expect column J has how many fragments do you have of that item okay so if you want to use this, you need to fill out column C, column H, and column J. 
the one that has the word have. And column K will tell you directly how many you need of this. Now, here I put a kind of a summary of all the items that, that, that you will need after level 100. For example, the ones in black, I have more than enough. I don't even read them anymore. That's why I don't have them in color. But since I put them there when I actually needed that stuff, then yeah. So you will have here a summary how many you need and you will also have a summary of how many purple fragments, how many orange and how many red fragments. That is in case you want to use the almighty fragments. All right. And over here you will have how many you have extra of each of these things. Okay. How many extra you have. So Okay, and here I have all the stages up to chapter 20. I will actually get to level 107 tomorrow night and I will have chapter 21 by the moment I upload this. And therefore, if you can see here, how many fragments do you need of the items that you can farm in each specific each specific stage then then you can select directly like that which stage you can have or you want to farm so if it happens that you need to farm a lot of I don't know dragon pearls for example we all need dragon ferns because it's a material for the boots of red plus 3 and red plus 4 so you will go to this let's do an example let's say that you have a real full red plus 2 sorceress sorry so let's say you have a full orange plus 2 sorceress and that you and that you want to make her red plus 3 for items something that you can do at level 105 for this, I'll just use the website hrs.k. Actually, the best website to get info on Heroes Charge. So, let's say that you already have all the orange plus two. Now, let's write down here in column B the, the red items. So, we need an Orb of Sears, Burning Hammer, Feather of Truth, Fiend Wheels, and Dragon Shoes. Let's write the, down those items. So we need one Orb of Sears. We need one Burning Hammer. We need one Feather of Truth, which is over here, yeah. We need, what else? One Fiend Wheels and one Dragon Shoes. Those are the red items. Now, the red plus one items. We need a Ruined Heart, a Divine Bracelet, an Angel Crystal, an Angel Fan, and Dragon Shoes. Right, let's put them. So, we need... Where is... Ah, one Ruined Heart. We need one Divine Bracelet. One, we need one angel crystal we need one angel fan and once again the dragon shoes so in, and that's two dragon shoes right now red plus two we need one divine necklace one oblivion necklace so many necklaces one Essence of Spirits, one Frozen Stone, and Dragon Shoes. So, let's go for one Divine Necklace, one Oblivion Necklace, one Essence of 
essence, sorry, essence of nature, or essence of spirits, one frozen stone, and some more dragon shoes, and now it's three. And for red plus three, we need four items, which you can get a level one or five. We need Eyes of Blue Dragon, Dragon Harp, Devil Ring, and Hermes Boots. Okay, Devil Ring one, Dragon Harp one, Hermes Boots one, and Eyes of Blue Dragon. There. Now we have here all the equipment we need to get uh, a full orange plus two sorceress, two red plus three four items. Now let's see what objects do we need. Okay, let's go from here. So since I don't have any big number here, this this thing is showing me that I still need. The four shoes, it will say show me the flow, the blue items. We need four ice staffs, we need four Corgarian glaives, 80 fragments, four demon edges or 80 fragments. We'll need this, of course, that we already have. And all that, we need one wizard hat, one eternal icicle, one holy garment. Three holy bibles, two ancient runes, one killing blood, two fin wheels, four dragon shoes reels, four feather of truth, four, one red lorica, one imperator's axe, four ring of spectre, five angels crystal, one bloody dagger, three angels fan, and you get the idea. Okay? And in total, you need all of them are here in summary. We need this the wizard hat, the eternal icicle, holy garment, killing blood, fin wheels. We need this. We need a lot of these orange items and this. Okay? So we need in total a surprise, can see this. We need 710 purple fragments, we need 1560 orange fragments and 440 red fragments. And as I said, here we have how many fragments do you need of the items that you can farm in each stage. For example, Depth's Boys you need 280 fragments that you can get in that stage. Here you need 470 fragments that you can get here. Here you need 780 fragments that you need from there. I can bet that this one is the one that you get. Ring of Spectre plus Dragon Shoes Reel or something. Here we have one or 470, 570 in chapter 18. Here we have 380 in chapter 19, 380 in chapter 20, yeah. So now you get the idea. Now I'm gonna show you how is my planning for level 107, which is this. As I said, so for all the ones I already have a lot. I don't care and I just put the number 200 in there, the same in column H for all the ones that I already have more than enough, put the number 200 and I let the hype number I had the last time I cared about some of the other red, uh, purple items, so yeah. As you can see in total I need 62 items because I will be upgrading 9 heroes once I get to level 107. I should be upgrading 10 because I should upgrade my brother air, but I still need a few ring of spectre. Once my brother has more training, then 
I will I will upgrade him. If I have enough Ring of Spectres or maybe just use all my Tyrant's Fragments. Because I actually make one him mainly for God of the Gods and I don't need to equip uh, for that. But it's already one level 106, all the skills, whatever. It's red right now. But I don't necessarily need him fully geared right now. So, but when he gets a little more training, then I will make him red plus four. So, I need 62 items. And if you're wondering, these are the heroes that I'm going to upgrade. Turtle Fighter, I'm gonna upgrade directly from full red plus two to red plus four for items. Dead Mage, I'm gonna upgrade to red plus four for items. Also Chaplain, Lightbringer, Magic Breaker, Witch and Holy Priestess. All of them go to Red Plus 4 for items. And Vengeance Spirit and Arcane Sapper to Red Plus 3. To full Red Plus 3. Why not Red Plus 4? Because they need a Red Plus 4, a Apollo's Bow, which is a level 108 item. So that's what I need and as you can see there's a lot of stuff that I need that I already have. I have 13 helmet boots in here and uh, all of these I already have. Devil armor, uh, devil ring, blah 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 blah. All that. And therefore, the amount of items I need is here. So, I've been harming for 107 since the moment the level cap was raised to level 110. That same day that I recorded my how to clear the chapter 20 normal campaign, that's when I upgraded this spreadsheet. And this is the items that I have extra, each of them. So I have some extra. There are some that I don't have that many. But uh, there are others that I have a lot. Uh, I already have the Thirteen Heron Boots. Actually, let me show you directly in the game that I have. Them. As you guys can see, well, I have a lot of these things. So I have all of these in preparation for tomorrow that I get to level 107. From these um, fragments, a lot of fragments. <laughs> Not as much as I would like to. By the way, uh, quick, let me show you, I'm run one in Gran Arena, and because of something that I'm gonna say at the end of the video, I want you to be aware that I'm being completely truthful about getting run one reward, so, okay, let's get back to the Spreadsheet. Okay, so now you saw that I have all of that. So, yeah, and also I'm gonna tell you I already did the 108, which here includes all the items for 107, which the moment I start equipping them. I will start room them from here. Let's say that I keep one Poseidon Trident. This will go to 3 and this will go from 9 to 8. So I never lose track. Now for 1 of 8 I need a lot of stuff. Look at that. 4,151 red items. So I need a lot of this. 
but mostly these are my problem. These others I can get relatively easy. I can get them when we have the 40% discount, but these, oh my god, these are the problem. I don't care about the purple items because I have over 4,000 Almighty Potter Fragments. I also have like 2,000 orange, not this many, but I will get a lot of those objects anyway. So, yeah. That's how I did it guys, and actually I am farming right now exclusively this, Queen of Course, to get more and more Dragon Pearls, because it's the one that I need the most. I'm getting Frost Stars and Divine Monster Shield from the Guild Raid Chapter 20, so yeah. As I said, the link to the Google Drive that will have this spreadsheet in Excel format uh, will be in the description. I hope this helps you guys as much as it has helped me. So that every time I level up, I already have everything I need. And I get stronger really easily because of this. I actually shared this with some of my guild members. Some of them started following it. Some of them say it was too complicated. Maybe because I was not showing exactly how to use it. I just tried to explain it by text messages. So, yeah. I hope this is helpful guys. Now, I would like to make an invitation. If you are level 104 or higher, I am inviting you to come to server 156 and join my guild evolution if you want to come and play with me. So, we have some inactive members that because of real life stuff they cannot, they don't have time to play anymore. So we have some positions. However, uh, contact me first. Uh, if you want, be a, a comment here in the video. And I will let you know in case someone else contacted me. Now, what are the benefits? For the starters, our guild is the strongest guild in our server. We dominate the arena. And we have the next set of arena, arena rules, so that everyone can have a decent reward. So I have a list of the reward time of all the members, which I share with all the members in a group that we have in the live messaging app. So, and the rules are like this. You can only be in top 10 with a full team if your reward is 2 hours away or less. Once you got your reward, if you are in top 10 arena, you have to, lower, to change your team to a maximum of 3 heroes, of which none of them can be a top 2 fire. That way, other members can very easily reach the top 10 and get a good reward. And if you are the only person in, in your reward time zone, then you might get rank 1 reward every day. For example, I am the only person in my reward time zone and I get rank 1 reward every day. That's why I wanted to show you a little bit back that I got Grand Wonder War, except that I'm getting it with Grand Arena now. There are only a bunch of, well, what, where I think there were seven people that are, or that will be 107, <laughs> because I will be tomorrow night anyway. But by the moment I upload this video, I will be 107 for, I don't know, over a week. Now, 
So yeah, Gran Arena usually is just attack whenever you want, whoever you want, except if someone is in top 5 that is gonna have the war uh, 2 hours away or less. But other than that is free for all, just for fun. And the arena is the one that we usually use for, for rewards. So that's an incentive. And will tournament we're doing okay. Uh, lately we have not won any any championships in the tournament. Uh, but because there are there are some guilds that are exclusively 100 and seven plus so <laughs> VIP 12 of or higher exclusively so it's a little hard to compete with, with that kind of firepower however I think that the arena rewards is actually it's actually better for this also uh, uh, to all my guild members I offer personal advice with any any aspect that they they need from the game, either from arena, grand arena teams, championship teams, uh, boss war teams, uh, farming. Uh, which heroes do you think you should upgrade? Which heroes are not? So I, I also offer help to uh, on the meta game. I'm not gonna do a meta game video. That takes way too much. <laughs> way too much time in my opinion so I will not do one but I can very well offer help if you come to my guild so yeah if anyone is interested in coming to play with us you're welcome guys and now if you enjoyed the video please leave a like, subscribe, comment and share with your friends and I will see you next time Griffin, out.